Are you looking at deploying Nutanix Cloud infrastructure, but have some ESXi environments you're not quite ready to migrate over? Hi, I'm Laura Giordana, a technical marketing engineer at Nutanix, and today I want to show you how you can use Nutanix Cloud Manager to manage and monitor those ESXi environments within the same Prism interface as you manage your Nutanix AOS clusters. Let's take a look. Nutanix Cloud Manager features are available through our Prism Central interface, which is included with Nutanix Cloud Infrastructure. If you're already running ESXi as your hypervisor of choice on a Nutanix cluster, and that cluster is registered to Prism Central, those VMs will be managed by Prism Central the same way a registered AHV cluster would be. So in my Prism Central interface, I have three Nutanix clusters registered, one of which is entitled Nutanix VMware, and this is our ESXi cluster, running on Nutanix. And if I navigate to the VMs page, we can see our AHV and ESXi VMs, and I can filter down by just the ESXi cluster and see those VMs. Now within vCenter, we can see our Nutanix cluster and those same VMs, but we, al we also have another cluster here that's not running on Nutanix. Now let's see how we can manage this external ESXi cluster within Prism as well. So back in the PRISM interface, I'll navigate to the menu and then I'll open Operations, Monitoring Configurations. I'll then click on Configure New Instance, enter in my vCenter credentials and information, and click on Test Connection. Once the connection is successful, it will show the clusters managed by this vCenter. And note that even though we have two clusters, it's only showing the non-Nutanix cluster since the Nutanix cluster is already managed natively. So I'll go ahead and save the configuration and the data collection will begin. Once the configuration is successful, I can navigate back to the VMs page and I can now toggle to see the non-Nutanix VMs. So now we can see that the VMs prefixed with EXT that we saw in vCenter, we can now see these within Prism. And all of the machine learning and behavioral detection that Nutanix Cloud Manager provides are also applicable to these VMs. So features such as inefficiency detection, capacity planning, and anomaly detection will work for these VMs, even though they're not running on Nutanix. You can also create reports against these entities, and you can also run Nutanix crossplay playbooks against them. So let's see how this works. Let's take a look at this VM here that has two gigs of memory assigned to it. From within vCenter, we can confirm the hardware configuration as well. Now I'll go ahead and run a playbook against this VM to increase the memory. I have a set of commonly used playbooks here for external vCenter VMs, and these can be downloaded from our playbooks library on Nutanix.dev and imported into your own environment. Be sure to check out the link in the description. For the add memory playbook, make sure you have memory hot plug configured on the VMware side for this to work on a powered on VM. I'll go ahead and run the playbook. Now we can drill into the VM and see that it now shows a configuration of three gigs of memory, and we can confirm this within vCenter as well. We can see that the virtual machine was reconfigured and now shows three gigs of memory within the hardware configuration. You can get hands-on with this feature by clicking on the link in the description of the video. And be sure to check out more Nutanix Cloud Manager features by checking out a Nutanix test drive. All you have to do is go to Nutanix.com slash test drive and click on the AI Ops and Automation tab. See you in the next video. Be sure to check out our other videos showcasing Nutanix Cloud Manager features and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. See you in the next video.